Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing something really cool. This is something I've seen online a lot. Uh, we're going to be integrating Unify Access into the alarm system at the building um, that I am trying to integrate. So um, this is really cool because um, not only does this allow for easier uh, methods to access the building, we can easily add people remotely quickly um, and we can also not have to rely on the alarm system for adding codes. So this is something that has been a pain point at the building for years. It is $5 apparently every time we want to make an adjustment to the list of people that have access to the building. Um, and $5 is not a lot. It's just the matter that we have to pay $5 for that to even happen. It's really annoying. So in today's video, we're going to be figuring out how to integrate the Unify Access API uh, directly into Home Assistant, which Home Assistant is going to then fire off the commands to the alarm system. I do want to add before we get too far into the video that Unify has since added a alarm manager uh, setup just like Unify Network has into Unify Access. So you can now do this all through Unify Alarm Manager. You don't have to do anything with the API. Um, this solution specifically though is a little bit nicer and more elegant for what we're doing because it is built into the hardware so it's automatically going to fire on a door unlock. This video is going to show the process of what I went to to program this through Node-RED. So before I started recording, I already integrated the alarm system into Home Assistant so the work there is basically done. At this point what we still need to do is actually do the integration um, from the Unify Access API into Home Assistant. So let's take a look here um, over on the API reference PDF. Uh, this is available from the Unify console itself. Um, you can find this API reference um, and it's really easy to be able to see uh, the reference and kind of see what you need to do. So we've got the API reference right here and I already did a quick search on here to figure out um, kind of what I'm looking for. Um, and it does look like I'm trying to do what 11.2 talks about, which is, um, sorry, I think it's 11.1 .1 actually. So um, essentially what we need to be able to do is we want to um, fetch the notifications. So one of the first options we have is we could fetch the notifications. Um, but the issue that we're going to run into with this is that I have to have a script that is constantly pinging this. I don't want to have to do that. So the next option that we have is 11.2. So um, we can enable webhook events uh, and once the registered Unify Access will push a real-time data to your application's webhook endpoint as events occur. Unify Access uses HTTPS to send these webhook events to your application, delivering JSON payload containing JSON object, which is exactly what we we're looking for. Let's figure out how to set this up. I'm going to grab a Node-RED instance right here and I think what we can do is we can just start building this inside of Node-RED. Um, I have not done this for a little while with the Unify Access API. I have integrated the key fob stuff. Um, I have a whole database that kind of talks to Unify um, for key fob stuff. But in this case, we are just trying to do... Okay, so uh, you'll see we've got a few things over here inside of Node-RED. Um, this video is going to be kind of a code with me kind of video. Um, this is essentially just at this point, we're just trying to connect some things together. Um, it's not like I'm not going to tell you how to do this yet because I need to learn how to do it. But um, I think the point of me showing this on video is kind of just so you guys can see kind of the process that I go through for these kinds of things. I think it's kind of interesting and I think it's something that you guys could learn from. So um, first, I think we need to figure out how we can add a webhook endpoint, which looks like that's what 11.4 talks about. So request URL is going to be this right here. And um, we're just going to add this in at the end of our IP address. And then we also need to add our token in here. So I'm going to go back to Bitwarden and grab my token. Okay, so at this point, I have just been going through and running the commands to add the endpoints into the API. So essentially, to add the endpoints, we just need to follow the API directions. So it's basically going to set it up so Unify will reach out to the endpoint through JSON uh, and send a payload basically every single time a door is unlocked. And I have gotten that to add, as you can see. And now down there, I am going through, and um, this is just two times speed, by the way. I'm going through and getting the recent unlock events, I believe, to see kind of what's happening. And you can see we are looking specifically for the access door unlock events. Um, so I think what we need to do is we need to test uh, unlocking the door. And we should be able to see in our debug number 59, uh, something actually happened if I go in and I unlock a door. So I'm gonna go unlock an interior door, and there we go. So we do have a pop-up here from the location. So it was the green room hall. Um, and then we have a preview of the camera, which actually that's really sweet, by the way. It's really cool we could do that. Um, device is just more device information. You got the IP of the device, it had the ID. At this point, uh, really what we just need to do is have this fire a home assistant endpoint. So like I said earlier, we aren't going to be doing this with home assistant because I think it's one of the easiest ways I can do this. So um, if we go back into Home Assistant, I'm going to search up uh, 
I have an automation I put together called disarm main building. And we are going to just say we can do a git request. Okay, so now we're going to uh, do a HTTP request and start formatting this here. Um, so we need to do our home assistant URL. I'm just gonna leave that blank for now so we don't have to blur it out. Uh, it's gonna be slash API slash webhook slash webhook ID, which in this case, I'm going to add the ID in here. Um, I can't show that obviously, so I'm just gonna make my life easier and not have to blur it out. So I'm gonna add this and I'm going to format the URL. Okay, so uh, I pasted in the webhook ID and the URL that we need to hit. What I will need to do is I need to only want, I only want exterior doors to do this because if somebody's inside the building, I don't want to disarm the building because if somebody for some reason tries to get in an interior door and they're already in the building, I don't want it to turn the alarm off because that's probably a reason for the alarm to go off. So with that being said, I'm going to fire this. It's not gonna do anything to the alarm. It's gonna show me in Home Assistant if something does go through. Um, so let's try this. We're gonna hit the green room hall again and I wanna see if it does fire. So it is requesting, it is triggered inside of Home Assistant. So we're good. Awesome. So right now I'm just going through and weeding out the interior doors. So if it is an interior door, it'll be on the list and it will stop after first match and not do anything. But if it's an exterior door, it'll not be on the list. And at the very last part of the switch node right there, uh, it'll actually go through and fire the endpoint. So if that is working correctly. Um, after the fact, I can tell you it's working. Uh, and that is exactly what we need to do. So any interior door will get weeded out, the exteriors will actually go through. Okay, so um, what you'll be able to see on your screen here is you'll be able to see that when a webhook payload is received, it's gonna arm it away. There's gonna be a blue banner that appears here um, when somebody unlocks a door. So I'm gonna grab actually my computer down here just so I can really show you guys that I'm actually unlocking a door. I'm gonna open up my laptop here and go into Unify and we're gonna unlock a door. So again, we are going to be um, unlocking a exterior door okay so first i'm going to do an interior door just to prove to you that it's not actually going to turn the alarm off if it is an interior door um so in this case what we are going to do is um we're going to find a door here that i can show you okay so we're going to grab the studio door okay so right here you guys can see i am clicking unlock on the door the door is now unlocked you will not see a banner pop up here because it is an interior door um, and that's exactly how it should be behaving, remember, because we don't want the interior doors to unlock. Um, and then now if I go back to this uh, door here on the side, this door, entry door, what we're going to do, I'm gonna click, um, and we'll see, it's going to go through and run this payload here. It takes a little bit, which is kind of weird, um, but it did trigger. Um, and then with that being said, what we can do, I'm gonna hide my camera here, I'm gonna go check and see if it actually did disarm the alarm, which I think in this case it should have because and disarming so that's exactly the behavior we're looking for exactly exactly what i want it to do so there we go it is now disarmed the alarm is turned off and i can go back on home assistant here and click away so it's going to go put the alarm back into the away mode just because there's nobody in the building so that's what i probably should do um the only thing i don't like about this is how long it's taking to hit the home assistant um, endpoint i don't know why it's so slow um but i'm pretty sure that's something that i can improve on over time but it is what it is so um, yeah, that's pretty much the integration here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. It's kind of cool to see probably. Um, so that's the whole process. So now Unify Access is now integrated into the alarm system. If somebody key fobs in on an exterior door, it'll now disarm the alarm. And this is only going to work for times where a user is allowed to unlock the door. So if a user is outside of their schedule, they will not be able to unlock the door. Therefore, the alarm system will not shut off. So it's really cool. I think what I want to do in the future is I want to add some kind of way to arm the alarm. Um, there are some Zigbee uh, buttons that I looked at that we could do through Home Assistant. I don't know what we'll do, but that's a project for another day. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you really enjoyed it. Hope this is kind of cool to see. I'll see you guys in the next video.